join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Nice to be back looking at some 19 mid-90s good stuff. May was a good time. I did uh, the Phantom Manus and uh, yeah, we had a good time looking at um, a lot of the action figures from 1999, which is, you know, the follow-up line to Power of the Force. But yeah, I thought we'd go off with a three-pack, which has been sitting on my shelf for about three or four weeks now. So I've been excited to uh, bust this one open. It's the Rebel Pilots. I got this for a really good deal on eBay. And uh, yeah, it's just three figures that I needed to add to the collection starting to really narrow down what I do need for my Power of the Force collection. So this one came in pretty good shape. You know, there was obviously a price sticker up in the corner there at one point. Doesn't matter, I'm opening it. So on the side, the uh, Hasbro logo, Rebel Pilots, 10 Nun, Wedge Antilles and Arvel Crinid. So this was a Asian release. My Tomy, which is a sort of a toy company, a distribution company, much like you know Palatoy to Kenner or Toll Toys to Kenner. And we've got the Rebel Pilots, Jabba Skiff Guards. Have had a look at that set before. So yeah, nothing really else of note. Just more pictures of the same thing. And we're just going to dig straight into it and take a look. Gonna get a knife, trusty blade. There we go. Let's get a. Mm, smells like 1998 <laughs> to me. So there we get a good look at the figures out of the box. Not quite out of the box. We've got some ties to get through here. The uh, the good old twist ties so I'm gonna hurry up and get a move on with those three figures and yeah you can tell there were no figure swaps in the 90s because um yeah that <laughs> that's like micro surgery there trying to get all those twist ties undone so we'll take a look at these one by one um i'm not sure whether to worry about the little background stand i may i may just for the sake of it um but yeah it should have shows you how to you know manipulate the cardboard to swing it around so you can then slot it into the groove at the back there and have it as a bit of a display piece, but I'll just sit it there for the moment. It's fine. So we'll get a look at 10 Num here. So I do have this guy in sort of a bit more modern three three quarter style. It came in another pilot pack back in 2009 or 10, I think, maybe even 11. But this guy's helmet will come off. I'm already noticing with these figures is they've been, you know, they're, they're 25 plus years old. They're, they've got a little bit of that sort of, sort of slimy, sort of gummy plastic feel about them. So I will put these through the dishwasher. I found that works quite well. It just gets that slight little layer of slimy plastic off. But it is what it is. It's, you know, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, these guys have been stored away for a very long time, so it's nice to let them breathe. And, you know, I'm excited to have these guys as part of the collection. I love, love all the details on his sort of breathing chest pack there. That looks really cool. Really nice details there. Yeah, he's all sort of pre-posed, kind of. It's not a big pose. I suppose the only little downside to this pack is they don't come with any weapons, but if you were lucky enough to be able to find the vehicles back in the day, you can have these guys piloting them, so that's cool. It's 
So I'm going to try and compare this to nine num, see if they're separate heads or new different or, or new heads, you know. I dare say they probably use the same one, but I'm not sure. We'll have a look at that afterwards. So that's a nice, nice snug tight fit there over the head. It's a little bit tricky to get back on actually. No, it's not too bad, not too bad. Looking at the details on the helmet there, that looks good too. I love that sort of silver look. A little bit of damage and stuff to it. Some markings. So that's cool, 10 num. Yeah, 1999. So these were very, very late in, in the Power of the Force, sort of just pre Phantom Menace. So we've got Wedge Antilles here. Nice to have Wedge. So don't, I haven't got Porkins and that sort of pack that Porkins came in, but I've got Luke and I've got Biggs. So they're having Wedge. That's not a. You know, for the time, that's that's a pretty good likeness of Wedge. We've got the power of the force equivalent of Dennis Lawson. I think that looks all right. That's pretty damn cool. So yeah, sort of standard black gloves, black boots. It's got the little utility sort of belt thing around the around the shin there. It does have the hose, which is good. Yeah, pretty standard sort of rebel pilot look, but you know, instantly classic. It's still cool. See, it's nice to have Wedge in the collection. There's his helmet. Looks pretty good. It's got a nice sort of gloss to it. Yeah, a bit of a sheen, you know, with sort of and they've gotten past the sculpted, you know, heads like the Snowspeeder Pilot Luke, where the helmet was sculpted on. They started getting into the removable helmets, which is great. And that fits on there nicely. It looks good. Wedge is good. I like it. Let's put him back on the base there. The Rebel base. <laughs> and here we've got Arvel Krynid, the B-Wing pilot. Or A-Wing. I can't remember. 10 numbers B wing. Let's consult the packaging, shall we? B wing pilot, 10 num, A wing pilot, Arville Cryd. So, yes, A wing. It's again sort of got the, the red, the red jumpsuit sort of differentiating him a little bit, which is cool. And that helmet comes off nice and easily. So you got Mr. Arvel Kreinard there. I think I do have... I don't know if I have this guy. I'm trying to look. I can sort of see. I've got some Rebel pilots down there around the A-Wing for my Return of the Jedi shelf. I don't think I've got the modern... I'm pretty sure they did a modern Arvel Kreinard, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it's another nice addition. I'll have to try and have a look and see if I do. There is, there are a couple of sort of red, red pilots I can't see very well from here. <laughs> but there is Arvel Kreiner, there's his helmet there, that looks nice. Like I said, that slips on very nice and easily, so that's, you know, no problems with getting that on and off, so that's good. So I'll probably keep them on the base there, I reckon, at least. I don't know if I'll worry about the backdrop. But there we have Rebel Pilots for the comeback episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Be back next week with some more. Looking forward to seeing you. Look forward to hearing from you again. We'll see you then. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.